For more great content, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Nats is on the other side of this, but all he has is that spectre. He's already seen one pass. CNN finds one. It's all on Redcar now. In December of 2021, Ascend made Valorant history. And this is what it comes down to. One more man to stand and Redgar, all the hours you've put in. At Champions, they emerged as unlikely victors and became the first ever world champions of their esports. It's down to a 1v4 and it's done! Ascend are your Valorant Champions winners! The first of their kind! And none of it would have been possible without their star player, Mehmet Yoz Sined Ipek. He steals the show. For the entirety of the start of Ascend's career, it was Sined and friends that people called them. The Turkish talent exploded onto the Valorant scene in 2020, transforming himself from a complete unknown to one of the game's most popular and one of its most talented players. The best yes. Turkish player as a world champion Z is man. insane. Yeah. Game out of nowhere, dominates the scene, best jet in the world. In terms of players in EU, I actually think he's probably like one of the best. He's really like <laughs> aggressive, like in your face with the op. You don't really see that from moppers in this game a lot of the time, so it's really cool to see that style. And while 2021 had its low moments for the flashy jet main, CNED ended the year by making history. And now, He's ready for more. Let's see how many more CNED can find. Oh, what? what was that shot, CNED? You can do a frag movie for CNED from this entire series. It's nuts. But they don't know about CNED, who swings out and grabs a double, a triple, in fact, leaving Pora all alone. And CNED finishes him off to. This is the rise of CNED. Before taking Valorant by storm, CNED's roots in competitive gaming came mostly through two titles, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, like many of his current peers, and something called Zula, a Turkish-developed FPS title that looks eerily like a cross between CSGO and Call of Duty. Double kill. And it was with Zula in 2019 where CNED began picking up competitive experience. But when the Valorant beta released in April of 2020, CNED immediately took his skills to Riot Games' new FPS title. The point where everybody got to know CNED is when he joined BBL, which is the biggest I'd say most well-known and definitely the most popular org in Turkey. He was pretty much, I'd say, well-known by everybody in the scene from very, very early on. He was just an insane author. Like, it's it's really that simple. He was just like a crazy good author. And I don't think there were many of them at the time. CNED's time on BBL Esports, an Istanbul-based organization, was brief. But it opened the door for him to join No Panky in late September of 2020 a team of European players that, through qualifying for first strike, quickly became one of the region's top unsigned rosters. Nolpenki have painted a target on their back bigger than any we've seen so far in Valorant, and now they have to deliver on the biggest stage of their careers. It was like a, the one of the highest rated unsigned teams, and I think him on Nolpenki was pretty much where Almost like the CNED and friends came from, where it was just like, oh, this is a really good team. This team is really talented, but CNED is insane. And I think first strike, he showed a lot of that. Although they didn't get as far as I think they would have liked to get at first strike. Um, but I think that was around the time where everybody was kind of like, why is nobody signing him? While Nopinki were certainly a talented team, it was CNED who was their prized possession. When you look at CNED, and I'm not just talking about scoreline here, look at the way he plays his mm. jet. For me, he's the perfect balance between a bit of EU Valorant mixed in with a bit of NA. With his next level operator plays, ability to single-handedly clutch seemingly lost rounds, and his absurd reactions, the Turkish youngster, who may have been a quiet reserve character off the server, was garnering serious attention on it. Down, but where has Eric got off to? He comes in with another kill, sees that the last player's on the defuse, chases in as he comes off. A oh, miss no way. But the classic snaps back. And you're telling me, Nolpenki, take a second? With the hops off the classic, right click jumping? Are you serious? He could have got spammed. After Nolpenki's stock had risen at First Strike Europe, the roster split up and pursued free agency leaving CNED as one of the hottest commodities in all of Valorant. 
While calculating his next step, CNED played on Don't Even Ask, a stack of EMEA players that Valorant fans would soon become very familiar with. Que se lleva uno, pero Bonco responde, es un 4 para 3. Tiene se lleva Mido con la venta Judy. Solo queda uno. Pinson está vendido. Star se acaba con él. GG. Victoria para Tom Even As. After just weeks of playing together and with the Valorant Champions Tour Stage 1 on the horizon, the roster was picked up by Razor Edge Gaming and were ready for a step up in competition. I think this is definitely uh, one of the teams that, you know, it, it's a new name. Um, it's definitely a new group of five in terms of what we've seen in, in the tier one uh, European Valorant competitions. But this is definitely, I think, a team that, that some people can get excited about. And while powerhouses Team Liquid, Fnatic and G2 Esports failed to make Europe Stage 1 Masters, CNED helped ensure his underdog team made the cut. This is a tough one to win out. They're gonna just tank it. That's a death. Oh, it's not even a death, actually. And oh, seen it. what? He goes through the smoke. This is gonna be pretty tough. Even going to the classic at the start. Kill has shuts him down. 13 to six. Raise your edge gaming. Absolutely dismantle OG. But just days before the big event itself, Raise Your Edge Gaming ceased operations, apparently due to conflict between riot policies and the org's association with poker and online gambling. Instead, the Raise Your Edge CEO founded Ascent and transferred the entire roster over to his newly formed organization. But their hopes of making a Cinderella run at Masters looked bleak. In the playoffs, Ascend were surrounded by some of the most fearsome teams in EU. Yet, in overtime, on the crucial third map against Fun Plus Phoenix, their unlikely dream lived on. Now, can he sit on this plant? You can see what he can do here. He's still sitting it. He's got his halfway, peels away from it, but it does mean Shao loses his life. Kiles finds him, and now it's going to be just one remaining. Oh Ascend have done it! They've absolutely broken the hearts of FPX and proven everybody wrong. But between Ascend and being crowned kings of EMEA stood Team Heretics. They were the region's first strike champions, and their grand final was an instant classic. Time there's Pora finding his form, but Cena's still gonna try and equal this one out with his pick towards low on towards the side. They see it, but Cena, that's one, that's two, the third falls into play. And come no the way. time comes the man, Cena, refusing to relent again and no again. Way. He's waiting on this recon, I'm pretty sure. Look at the double face comes through, Bo Cold lands it. Attackers win. They've done it. They've actually gone and done it. Ascend managed to take down Heretics after going all the way. The distance in front of them, a true upset in the making. This is what dreams are made of for these boys. And I cannot believe the performance we've seen from them today. This is their legacy in the making. And in both the semi-final and grand final, it was the Turkish prodigy himself who took home the MVP award. The number one conversation always going to be seen at after that. He played such an insane series. You can do a frag movie for seen it from this entire series. It's nuts. This guy is an absolute beast in my books. That's the best European player. No question asked. CNED had officially made his mark on Europe. And with the climax of Stage 2 being Valorant's first ever international land, the next challenge for the young star would be to prove himself against the rest of the world. But it was not to be. The flank that CNET is on could pay huge Five dividends flank. as well. Brahms peeks close, good kill, trades back. CNET in the back, has to go quickly. A 1v2, a player close, he gets the first. Mo going in for the 3k, that shock dart tags him, and Loki finishes it off. 14 rounds for Vitality. They have knocked Ascend out. The Masters champions, no more. And I definitely think at the time it was a big shock that they didn't make it. I'm pretty sure everybody was incredibly surprised that they didn't make it at least as far as they should have. That disappointing stage two saw Ascend make their first roster change, letting Coldamenta go in favor of G2 Esports Zeke, a former teammate of CNED's back on Nopanki. And Ascend were back to winning ways in stage three, claiming the challengers won title, where CNED yet again was the event's MVP. So you're gonna post up here. Gotta be careful, it's Kellogg's on the other side here. <gasps> no way! He gets him, he gets he's got it all. 
CNET is just shoving them in the grave. It's just Nookie now as Ascend, I think, have done more than enough. They close out the series 13 to 10. And in the Challengers playoffs, where four EMEA spots for Masters Berlin were up for grabs, Ascend did not falter. And now the dash into sight. CNET knows there's a player below, has to dash out of the way, knives out, and somehow Five Zeke is just eight. destroying them! One CNET delivers the knives to Defo's head, and Shados is the last man standing. He has to hold on in a 1v4, and it is not the happening. 13 to 5, that will be the Masters 1 champions as the first team to lock in their place as an EMEA representative in Berlin for Masters 3. That that is incredible. Finally, Valorant fans would find out if CNED's ability to decimate his opponents online would transfer to a LAN environment. Everybody wanted to see CNED play. Uh, they were like, oh, he's good online. You know, he's a, a, an insane opera. He's also lived in Turkey, so it's not like he, his ping is that good when he competes. So everybody is like, oh, what is he going to be like on zero ping? Like CNED on zero ping is going to be incredible. And in Berlin, CNED quickly let the world know he was ready to take on the best the world had to offer. They don't know about CNED, who swings out and grabs a double, a triple, in fact, leaving Pora all alone, and CNED finishes him off too. And now at least, there's a good chance to overwhelm him. He still has his dash online, so he can take an initial kill. Oh. He's actually going to go in for two, and in fact, he's just decided to continue fighting. In the quarterfinals, they faced 100 Thieves, a potential favorite to win the event, and Ascend were on the verge of knocking out their North American foe. Asana called upon in the dire hours now to try and do something to take this back. That's one. He knows there's another chance here. Oh, he's close to the gap! Asana. Asana, this is incredible, but he's got more to do. Seen it on one HP and then one above. It's going to be Zeke and seen it to shut it down. 12 is on the board. Ascend a one away. And series <laughs> point. 100 Thieves trail by five. But the gulf between Ascend's inexperienced young team and 100 Thieves veterans was too large, and the NA side clawed their way back from a series that appeared to be done and dusted. You can see it on Bone Cold's face, he kicks back, he knows they're in danger. There's the look, what? Wait, Hiko, what just happened? It's okay, it's okay. Or is, is it? Seen it still alive. Okay, Nitro, there it is. Call on those years of experience. Call on it now, because don't want oh. to come back. They've been here for years. 12-12, we're going OT. Damage exchange, Kino's Nitro. actually isolated right there. Nitro. The is perfect. He's closed the gap. Ethan's coming with another. This could be it. A hundred thieves on the verge of destroying Ascend, ripping the lead away from them as Zeke and CNED need to rise above. And they can't do it. Nitro to close. A flawless round to win it on. And against the odds, against the round score, against every aspect of this game, a hundred thieves just rose to the occasion. They they should have won. Like they should have won. They had the win. I think I'm I would be pretty confident to say that in that specific game, they were def they got definitely experience diffed. Like you look at the side of Hundred Thieves, one of those players has probably more experience land experience than all of Ascend put together. The defeat was a bitter pill to swallow, one that haunted the Ascend players for a long time to come. I know they were really affected by the way they lost and the fact that they lost um, but the fact that they could have won and they let it slip, but I think it was a very good experience for them overall. And they, they like to joke about it now, but if when people do bring up, you can tell like as a team, they're like, oh, we don't want to talk about this. But despite the heartbreaking exit, CNED in his first ever major LAN event proved that the hype surrounding him was 100% authentic. And the, they're just star-studded when it comes to the lineup. They play well as a team. They have the fundamentals there. And I mean, having the best jet in Europe, in, in my eyes still, is like absolutely in insane. In the world. In the <laughs> world. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in the world. That's what I was saying before. I don't know why I misspoke right now. But despite all the positivity surrounding CNED, his name was brought into controversy when in early November of 2021, news broke around his unintentional involvement linked to a Twitch money laundering scandal. Ascend promptly released a statement denying CNED's intentional involvement and no action was taken against him. But it seems as if some of this has been dispelled with CNED, although he did receive funds from that same account. He was not contacted beforehand, so it was just a normal donation to him, and then he ignored them afterwards. 
But if this posed any distraction to CNED's champion's preparation, well, his MVP title, and of course, he is your MVP. That's the guy. Ascends 13-0 demolition of Gambit. Therefore, we're at least gonna find Gilles, but the rest looks like a mountain in front of him that he has to try and climb. And oh, the shots go astray, and so does the entirety of the game. It's 13 to zero. And their eventual runners-up finish at Red Bull home ground two, just days after that news broke, showed otherwise. Might have even just spotted there. Oh, yes, he didn't know. He looks away. Cena finds a second. That was screen there. The first, I forgive. The second, I have no idea how he's adjusted like that. But he's still lingering around. He's getting more aggressive. Cena finding the space and making it himself if it wasn't provided. Going into Valorant's first ever world championship, there was little expectation on Ascend to be the eventual winners. Sure, they'd always remain a threat with CNED on the server, but most had their eyes on other teams. I think most people would have tier listed Ascend as like A tier or S tier. I don't think anybody think they're anywhere near below that level, but I don't think many people had them as the eventual winners because you had Vision Strikers, Sentinels, Gambit, Liquid all in the mix. CNED was back in Berlin for champions, ready to right the wrongs of stage three. But Ascend's opening series against Brazilian side Vivo Keed got off to a start that was anything but reassuring. It's left all on to Zeke to try and close this one out, but it isn't going to be happening. It is Vivo Keed that head through it to the upper bracket and Ascend have already faltered in this tournament. They had a rough time when they came to Berlin for the first time, and it looks like they're having a rough one again. Their opponents utilized a banned cipher cam en route to winning the deciding map. And in the aftermath, Riot intervened, ordering the teams to replay the final map with the scoreline starting at 7-0 to ascend, which they eventually won. They're gonna have to make the choice to just almost try and go through it, but that benefits their opponents more than anything else. Darzo, I think he should finish this one. There's only eight seconds left for them to try and get onto this site. They have to run through, and it is done. It took a a long, long time, but it is not quite enough for Vivo Keed. Having endured the emotional roller coaster of that series, Ascend notched one of the standout victories of the group stages, sweeping Stage 3 Masters Grand finalists, Team Envy. They have to pick their timings. Epidus gets the first one. Victor, can he get the trade? One he can. One remains. versus one. Victor for Envy, but it's Zeke who pulls it out of the bag and Ascend get the defuse, and they've made their way straight to the playoffs in the top seed of their group. First up in the playoffs was a favorable quarterfinal match against Team Secret, and Ascend crushed any hopes of a Cinderella story for the Filipino team stops himself from getting suppressed and giving away his position potentially, but Zenet playing very close forward. And he strikes him down. He said, uh, thank you for being a fan, but I must end your career right here, right now. Zenet will get the last one on the dispenser, and there you have it. 13 to six, as Ascend look absolutely, utterly dominant in the quarterfinals. They will be moving forward. It was, by all accounts, an incredible run thus far, but waiting in the wings was an informed team liquid destined to put an end to CNED's journey. But Ascend, well, they clearly didn't read the script. Yes, he got nothing out of that showstopper. CNED still has this res though, and he gets the pick on Yappy through the Viper wall. Time is against him, he's just forced to go forward. He's 10 bullets, 10 bullets and three players. The math doesn't add up, and Bone Cold takes his head clean off there. 13 to 6, an absolutely crushing opening map. As he goes for the defuse, the res comes in as well. Yampi around the corner, finds one. Cena down, he has to tap it. They can play the time here. Yampi's in such a bad position. What can he do? He's forced to have to just hold. They're going to swing him, and they're going to find themselves now in the grand finals. Liquid have been dominated by Ascend. The number one jet in EU, Cena, in the grand finals of champions. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Only one final hurdle stood between CNED and greatness, but it was a truly daunting one. Gambit Esports, who already had the experience of winning Stage 3 Masters on that very same stage. And their best of five 
was an all-out war. Defo's got himself popping out the old, and that still fights one! No matter what they do, Ascend can't do anything! They are left without an answer! Ascend once again now, staring down the barrel. Uh, I've got to say, it fumbling a, a big lead on Breeze. Tina finds one, Redgar sprays in. He gets one connection, but it's still going to be Nats, who finally gets denied by Starzo. There's a chance, and he gets ripped away, Redgar! It's 10 seconds! It's over! Defo, you still need to be key in this one, and Bone Cold's got him across the map. Tina still stands as well. This could be the one. This could be the round to take him across the line. Nats, the last one alive here, and Ascend bound back. Gonna find one. Red God swings in, and it's all down to Starzo. It's all but over. 13 to 3. A flawless end to the Neuron Flawless map. It's down to Redgar and Chronicle. The two stand, make it one. Redgar, is there anything left in the tank? Or have Ascend done enough to take us all the way here? Redgar, can he get to just like tap the spike? No way. No way. Someone, someone stop him! It's gonna be Zeke! And we're going the distance! It's gonna be Zeke and Starzo on the other side. They're keeping their composure. They're gonna try and play him through heaven. Nats is on the other side of this, but all he has is that Spectre. He's already seen one pass. CNN finds one. It's all on Redgar now. And this is what it comes down to. One more man to stand. And Redgar, all the hours you've put in. Thousands upon thousands is down to a 1v4, and it's done! Ascend are your Valorant Champions winners! The first of their kind to edge their names in the history books, and they did it in the shadows, surprising so many, and they've worked so hard. Game out of nowhere dominates the scene. Best uh, in the world. Yeah. I mean, best team in the world. It is our distinct honor to crown our inaugural VCT champions. Give it up for Ascend! By lifting that champion's trophy, the first of its kind, CNED cemented his place as one of the very best Valorant players walking the earth. I think being able to win champions is one thing, but being able to stay at the top and maintain that consistency is a whole different other thing. And I think now he's tasted the success, I feel like he's going to have a better understanding of how to win and how to stay at the top. What's next is going to be up to him, and I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens.